um, right clicking after pre-selection shows commands that make sense. And let me show you what I mean by this. So for example, I'm gonna click this edge and right mouse click and it shows me the commands that kind of make sense. Because I've clicked an edge, I could fill out that edge or I could chamfer that edge. So instead of having to go into the menu and look for those commands, they're right there at my mouse. Let me go ahead and click this cylinder, right mouse click, and you could see, for example, I could create an axis through that cylinder. I could shell this part out, for example. If I were to click, um, let's just say on a face, for example, I could create a sketch on that face. I could extrude and make that thicker, create an offset plane, or again, shell the part looking into that um, face. So the right mouse click, I use this all the time. I click on an edge and I say, I want to uh, chamfer that edge with just a one millimeter chamfer. Oops not one inch, let's say 0.1 inches. So there you can see it did the whole chain all the way around. Okay. Same thing with like faces, you know, you click on faces, it shows you what you can do. You can click on parts or bodies, right mouse click, it'll tell you what you can do. For example, change the physical material, find out what properties it is, move it around, make copies of it, etc.